if I look down and my eyeliner looks horrible, it's because it does look horrible. I'm just going to go ahead and keep it moving. Hey, got. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you are new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Adri. My makeup ain't it today, so let's keep at a distance. You know, usually I have the camera up here, but today, it ain't it. So if you're like me, you have a favorite foundation, but it doesn't have a pump. You've looked on their website, you've looked on Amazon, anywhere else to find a pump for your foundation, and nothing fits, nothing is the right size for your foundation, but I have found a solution, and I'm going to make your life a whole lot easier. With that being said, I'm going to show you what I found, how I used it, how much it was, where to find it, all that good stuff. So I got this product from Amazon. So this is a portable, empty, refillable, clear plastic airless vacuum pump bottle. Um, and it was $9.99 on Amazon. Um, if you have Prime, the shipping will be free, so it'll be about $10 and some change. So I thought these would be really great for travel or if you're like me and you're a makeup artist and you don't have a lot of space in your kit um, or you can also use it just for your foundation use. You can go ahead and just throw it in here if you don't have a pump on your foundation. So I'm going to move on to the next part of the video which is going to be me pouring the foundations into these little containers. When I was watching other people do it, it was really satisfying for me so I wanted to make an, uh, or a video of my own. <laughs> So I wanted to make a video of my own and also if you guys were interested in purchasing these things I will leave the link down below but without further ado let's jump right into the video. Okay so first I'm going to go ahead and put some rubbing, rubbing? Not rubbing alcohol in the jars before I put the foundation in there. You don't want to put the foundation straight in the jars without cleaning them just because you don't know where they've been really you really don't. So you're just gonna pour just a tiny bit of this, shake up the bottle, and then throw out what was inside. Okay, right, so I already cleaned the jar with the alcohol. I'm gonna go ahead and get started on pouring the foundation in the jar, and then I will apply the label after. But as you can see, we have a lot of foundations to pour into these little jars. So it should go from looking like this to this. I'm not going to fill it all the way up because I learned my lesson with this one right here. It got all dirty and I had to clean it up so I'm just going to leave a little bit of room. And now I'm just going to close it up. I can take off the label in the front and it'll still tell me what it is on the back. So if I were to do this foundation right here, um, it also tells me. So it has the label on top, but then it also has it on the back. So once I do take the label off of the original foundation, I won't get them mixed up. Because obviously I'm going to keep what's left over in here just so I could refill these later. Once you lift a little part of the label off, I just take tweezers. You don't really need tweezers. I just use them so it keeps as much stick as possible and I don't rip it. And so once it, the majority is taken off, you can just get it with your fingers and move it to the bottle. And that is it. What I really like about this bottle before I go on to the other foundations is that it is an airless pump. So what it's going to do, this little part right here is going to be raising the product up as I pump. So there's not going to be any leftover product and it's going to be really easy to clean so I can use these as much as I can. Okay, so I'm going to put this foundation to the side and also the big bottle and then I'm going to continue with these foundations.
Well, I really love this. It gives me a lot more space. If you could see what it was before, it was really packed in my makeup kit and now everything is really tidy and it looks more clean to me. And I love that there's a lot more room for me to even buy even more foundations if I wanted to. This also helps me see the colors better. It's very clear. It's not glossy or frosted or there isn't another layer in front of the actual foundation color. So it actually looks really true to color when I put them in these little jars. These are a lot more sanitary. You don't have to be dipping in with a spatula or your finger or, or just dumping it out onto your hand. It's not as messy. Um, and it's also a lot easier to use. Um, I'll also be leaving these linked down below if I haven't said it already. But yeah, so far so good. I really like these things. I've tried it out with this one that I filled already and it's really easy to use. And I really like that these are accessible. They're on Amazon so everybody can get them if they want to. And that is it for filling these up. I hope you guys enjoyed. Now on to the outro. Alright guys, and that is it for this short video. If you guys like these kinds of videos, just let me know in the comments. Also, if you have any other suggestions, leave that down below. I'm not going to tell you to like or subscribe to this video because I'm just not going to do that. I think we are done here and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Is it normal?